Hey everybody, Texas Stroke here, Lance's Performance Chapel on StarMopars.com. First thing first, 9.48 New Year's Day. That's p.m. It is cold out here. Uh, not quite sure why I do this to myself, but uh, you know, we had something come in. It's new. Uh, we've got a new year here. And uh, I'm going to have to go in and edit this thing. hope my internet's fast enough to have it uploaded by 9 a.m. So uh, without further ado, let's jump right into it. We've got two items here on the table, you'll note. They're red, they're black, they're VHA screwdrivers. We've got a standard driver over here, and we've got the ultra driver right here. So uh, also of note, brand new, that's correct, brand new Alpha Gloves, because again, January 1st, 2021. Why not? The other reason, uh, the other gloves, which mind you are still uh, in really good shape, are just extremely filthy. Anything that I touch, it's going to transfer like grease and crud to. <laughs> and, uh, I don't want to do that to these uh, items we're going to look at because they're brand new and that would make them reflect negatively. But uh, huge thanks again to Josh at Alpha Gloves for sending these out back when I uh, nearly lost my thumb. Uh, they've been fantastic. These are the slightly larger size. I think the XLs. Uh, the largest actually did me pretty well, but more on that later. Let's jump right into things. So I told you, new year, new tools. We're gonna we're gonna get it going. Not a KC tool haul. These items, if you're interested in them, will be at KC Tool. I think they're thinking maybe February or March. Who knows? It could be sooner. Uh, they will be coming. If it's nothing, you know, it's like gonna just make you make you snag them immediately. Uh, you can wait and see what kind of pricing they have. Both of these items, sub 20 bucks, don't get discouraged, don't go away. Uh, they're very, very exciting. And the reason for that, let's just go ahead. I don't know, uh, I was debating whether we do uh, one of them or both of them or, you know, one at a time. It'll kind of depend, one, mainly on the battery life. So uh, it just went from four bars to two bars, so we better, better pick up the pace. This, that is correct, is brand new from Viha. If you're looking closely, you'll see something red, you'll see something kind of gray. 11 in one and 6 in one. And if you're thinking, wait, you know, what's going on? You know, you got the Ultra Driver. Is this like one of their pop ups, you know, that was on the big deal? What's, what's the catch? Well, why are these special? Well, these are like brand new. I'm talking like a couple of weeks release. Uh, this was sort of in the pipeline back in October. I'm sure it was planned ahead of that, but that's when they sort of joined forces. Uh, Viha North America, keep in mind, they're up there in Minnesota. And uh, they've got sort of a corporate neighbor. I believe it's uh, Aeroplex. They're going to be plastic injection molding, if you will. Kind of sitting in the backyard. And, uh, you know, every once in a while you go out, you talk to your neighbors, one thing leads to another. And Viha is a smart company. Uh, it's a situation where everyone, you know, I can come in, we'll do our screwdriver shootout. If I love this, if I tell you this is the best screwdriver, some of you will believe it and buy it and try it. Uh, others of you will get this to prove me wrong. Some of you will say, you know, that's a really good screwdriver, but it's not made in America. And that would be the big downfall. Uh, whether you're talking a Nipro's ratchet, a Stavilla ratchet, whatever, pick the cream of the crop from anywhere. If you're trying to push that here in America, the downfall, regardless of how good the tool is, and most people that are fair will admit, hey, that's a really good tool. I just wish it was made in America. That's the same thing here. And this applies not only to Viha, but to everyone. I don't care where the screwdriver's from. I've got hundreds of them sitting here and I could throw them out and an awful lot of them are just going to be cast aside by a bunch of people because they're not made in America. So Viha, as you know, manufactures in Germany and they also do some things like pliers in Vietnam. Uh, some of their products actually do originate in America, but this is sort of a special one. This is something that was designed and engineered in Germany, but it's manufactured entirely in the USA. Now, what that allows Viha to do is if you're like, oh, well, you know, I'll just get the Snap-on or Mac or whatever, which, by the way, Matco, those are going to be VIT screwdrivers anyway. Nonetheless, <laughs> we digress. It's going to be a deal where the guy that's like, yeah, I've, I've had people tell me those are good. I've used them. I like them. But I'm, I'm going to stick American here. Whether it's, you know, and a lot of times, let's be honest, it's Klein uh, as opposed to a tool truck brand. But case in point, that would be the legitimate complaint from the American-based consumer. It's not a deal where it's, this is metric and I am, I'm old school, give me SAE or Imperial. 
number two Phillips is a number two Phillips. They've got you covered there, but your knock, it would be right here on this little tab where it says made in Germany. And uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is the same complaint an awful lot of people will throw at Harbor Freight. There's some things at Harbor Freight you can't beat them for the money, and they've proven to be really good. They've got a great track record with a ton of people. But the complaint, again, is the country of origin. So, Viha understands this. You know, there's people that are a little hesitant, you know, to jump out of that comfort zone or that mindset, if you will. And that's where this comes in. Designed, engineered in Germany, manufactured in America. So that stubborn guy, you know, somebody, it might be you, that just refuses it, all of a sudden this becomes a player. You can't say, well, you know, hey, that's not made in America, or right? I'd probably try that out. It's probably not good, but I'd, I'd try it at least. Now that guy that's on the fence or has that mindset, here's your gateway drug, right? This is your entry-level acquisition, where if you pick this up and you love it, you think, well, you know what, you know, it wouldn't be so bad if I gave their screwdrivers a shot because that's good. And if I'm throwing my money at the company, maybe they'll they'll bring production of some drivers over here. And maybe they'll develop more tools uh, and manufacture them in America. So all sorts of things play into that. But that is exactly what happened here. It's a classic situation. And they're trying to address that. They're hitting the North American, Central American, and South American markets with items manufactured over here. In addition to being appealing to the buyer, you know, the customer base, it also logistically makes a ton of sense because you eliminate the freight, which in the case of coming from Germany, you got an ocean in the middle, and that's, that has quite a bit of expense. So uh, it's not like this is coming from Kansas to California type of a deal. There's an ocean involved, so you've got freight and docks and you know loading and unloading times, and it's just a mess. So enter these two items, and that's what I was telling you, under 20 bucks. If I were to have just thrown these out, and you knew they were from Viha, and it was a 6-in-1 and an 11-in-1, I don't know that many people would have thought either of them would have been under 20. Maybe 25, and maybe like 29 to 40-ish would have been good guesses, right? But you're thinking, okay, Viha, it's from Germany, it's not super pricey, but you know, you factor everything in. And in this case, we've cut a lot of the cost because it's actually manufactured in America. So uh, we're going to come in right here again. This is the packaging. These, some people that won like the Vito Pro Pack promotion, I think one or two of the, I'm not sure exactly, but I think one variation of this was included there. And then I think they've been sending some out to people. I kind of like see them in stories on Instagram. And it was like in a different box, which would have been perfect for this video because we could have presented them much better. But uh, as is, we're just going to tackle it. If you are like me, the little plebeians, and we go out and we purchase these, this is what you get. If you've got a Fastenal or an electrical supplier that stocks Viha, this is what you should be seeing again right now. As best I know, these are only available at vihatools.com. I'll have that link down below. Once again, I don't make anything off of that, at least not right now. It's there for your convenience. If you see it, if you love it, if you got to try it, if you're excited they made this in America, click it, buy it. I'm not involved in any way, shape, or form, aside from providing you the link so you don't have to search for it. Price point on this guy. I said sub-20. What if I told you this thing cost $14.98? or an American-made driver. We're like approaching channel lock pricing at this point in time, uh, which if you recall, OG viewers, you'll know we've got a six-in-one channel lock sitting over here. Uh, similarly, the 11-in-1, $17.98. Now, the only complaint I would have based off of this, when you've just got three differences between these models, I think the 11-in-1 becomes the much more attractive driver. You know, if it was double the price, you know, people are going to sit there and think, oh, well, what do I need? What would I use? $3 for that much more functionality, I don't see why you wouldn't gravitate that way. But uh, maybe in the comments you can let me know which way you would go and why. So this is going to be the retail packaging, though. And as we flip them over side by side, you can see they are pretty much identical. So uh, what we want to do is we'll highlight this. And just, it'll back me up, right? So, you can see it. Once again, tools that work for you. Made in the USA. That's uh, that's not something you expected to see. Keep in mind, though, the razor blades that they have uh, with their little uh, ultra scraper. Those are made in America. Uh, surprisingly high number of razor blades are, regardless of the country of origin of whatever you're combining them with. 
So built to last, quality VHA tools, it's got an ergonomic grip for maximum torque, precision machined bits to reduce cam out. Now, spinning these suckers around, six and one, what do we get? What are the six components? Well, you got a quarter and 316 slotted. Note, this is made for the American marketplace. You don't have 3.5 with a comma in the middle instead of a decimal. You don't have a four comma five, okay? You don't have millimeters mentioned anyway. This is old school Americana and I love it. Quarter and 3 sixteenths, I know what that means. Number one and number two, nut drivers. Do we have metric stuff here? Nope, quarter and 5 sixteenths. That's going to be your one, two, three, four, five, and six across the board for the six and one. Now, again, for three bucks more, and this is pricing off of VIA's direct website, uh, retailers may or may not have a cheaper KC tool. I wouldn't be surprised if you could get these for like 10 to 15 for either version. Uh, when they stock them. So keep that in mind. <laughs> it's, uh, the 11 and 1 right here. Again, part number there would be 77891. Slotted. We got quarter. We got 316. So slotted. We are the same version to version. Phillips. Number 1 and number 2. That's covered. Square. Number 1 and number 2. Now if you're in Canada, that's great. Uh, if you're a window cleaner, this is also great. For anyone else, I don't know. Um might prefer to have seen something different there. That's just me and what I do uh, with the drivers and what I'm thinking of applications. But Torx, T20 and T25. Again, for me, T25 is by far uh, the most used, so I'm happy to see that. And then right here, you're thinking, okay, we got two, four, six, eight. We need three more. What's going on? Quarter and five sixteenths, which match up with a six and one. This adds a three eighths. To me, that's a big deal. That's enough reason on its own to add the three bucks. We're also getting the torques and the square. So currently in terms of bits, I don't exactly know what's available standalone. I haven't seen anything listed. Replacement packs. I don't know if there's, you know, giant slotted bits that are going to work in tandem. I also don't know what, if anything, plugs and plays with this. Uh, the third tool, however, that uh, entered the fray here was a conduit reamer. And again, I don't have that. I didn't purchase it, but they claim it works with a 6-in-1. They don't mention it working with the 11-in-1. I don't know if that's because it's incompatible or it's just not listed, but uh, we will attempt to investigate that. So uh, the, where that little box that I've seen in their story reposts or whatever that would be called on Instagram would be nice as those would already be open. Uh, I will tell you these are packed surprisingly well. And uh, what I mean by that, let me just show you on the six and one. You know what that means. That means you got all this cardboard. You have to like figure out which tab actually actuates the release of all the others. And yeah, well, uh, let's see if we can get her out there. And then the other side was the same way. But we got it here in hand. Let me dust her off here. All right, so this is actually a pretty nice in hand. It's not near as heavy as I thought. Granted, this is the six in one. So I'm going to try to breeze through these again because I'm A, cold, and B, don't have a ton of time. So we've got the familiar red and black, which ties in oh so nice with the brand new Alpha Glows. A link to those as well, which by the way, I make nothing. Uh, that's just me trying to get you with a good pair of gloves that doesn't suck. So uh, right there though, again, that's out of the package, so that might just be some stray cardboard or something. But I'm wanting to push a button. I'm so used to the uh, pop-ups and everything, or squeeze tabs. But that's not the case. It's more traditional. So red and black color scheme. You've got the hard plastic is going to be your red finish. And then this is kind of going to be your uh, softer material. It'll give you friction so it doesn't slip. Uh, it kind of just adds a little extra layer of comfort. It's got pretty good ergonomics uh, for what it is. Again, classic VHA roll zone. It also has these two flats. Which, uh, check this out. This is your this is your money maker for a lot of you. Made in German. No, wait, USA. That's right. I've not seen that on a VR handle before, so that is pretty dead gun cool. Let me try to get a good shot of that for you. Actually, blackout always does the trick. Again, USA. Crazy, I know. Now let's see. I don't know if the year is on this side like they typically do. Nothing yet. So uh, probably just a simplistic approach. Classic VHA design, whatever the handle is, you're going to have a number right there. 
If it was made in 2017, you'd see a 1.7, so on and so forth. Now, back to the driver itself. Okay, again, still feels pretty good in hand, even the gloved one. You got a chrome shaft, all right? I assume that's just, again, American Marketplace, good corrosion resistance. Uh, right here, we're going to have our number two Phillips. And uh, let's see if we can extract that. Again, just kind of like you would expect. You've got the uh, number one on the other side. There's a ball detent with the spring there. Right here, we're going to have, I believe that would be our quarter. And then if you're not familiar with six and ones, we do this, right? Uh, this would be spring loaded in there based on the sound we heard. Here we've got our quarter and five sixteenths. And then right here, three sixteenths and quarter, I believe it was. Right there would be your five sixteenths. So quarter, five sixteenths. And again, uh, just line everything up. You can actually see right there. You got the wings, you got the ball detent. We'll get it in place press it down pretty dadgum effortless so let's come in and take a look at these bits now these are phosphate coated as well so they should have pretty solid corrosion resistance I love that they're labeled the 3 16 being significantly bigger than the quarter despite having more text in play it's not sure why but I'll take it uh, I'm gonna pull this up to save time Nothing else is stamped on it. There is a light coat of oil, though. And uh, then we'll come in here to our Philips Fantastic Show. And we got PH1, PH2. They seem to be the same font size there, so that's not going to bother me. <laughs> and, uh, I want to get a good look at the tip. So again, the advertisement is precision machined exact fit and then again kind of that nice smooth finish that gives the color that would be your phosphate coating so there we are we got slotted we got phillips we got two nut drivers and i'm going to quickly get this guy out of the box all right let's see if we, if we learned anything i think i'm just gonna drag it out beautiful all right like i said uh nose is already starting to run it's that cold so this one surprisingly doesn't feel much heavier. Again, it's got quite a bit more with it. Five extra pieces, if you will. I hate that that's uh, dirty out of the box. It's not really dirty. It's just, I guess, the cardboard shards, if you will. Uh, but again, very nice color scheme. Right here, you've got your roll zone, your friction area. And as you've come to expect now, with a second tool made in the USA. Pretty crazy stuff. So this one... Let's see. It's a different animal. Okay. Things things are not what they seem, right? So right here, you'll note, if that looks a little bit beefier, and you're like, yeah, that looks like a hex shank on it. Well, that is the case. So uh, this pairs a slotted with a Phillips. And there's a good reason for that, I guess. So check this out. What we're going to do is get that to focus. Boom. This looks like an ultra driver bit. Don't hold me to anything, <laughs> but uh, it is also labeled right there. PH1 and PH2, it is upside down. I'm gonna put that back in place. We're gonna set it here. We're gonna grab the uh, rest of the device here. So there's gonna be one side of the nut driver. Now this one's gonna be interesting. We're gonna pull that. We have got our uh, believe that would be five sixteenths and then I'm thinking we would use any of this really for quarter <laughs> so I'm still a little worried about the battery but uh, t20 t25 let's see if we can uh, black her out and get it showing up for you gotta say the bit itself I know it's a not the best view with the camera actually looks pretty dadgum good so that's exciting but uh, we'll plug that in and basically what's going on here you've got your double-sided bits that are plugging into what I believe would work as our quarter nut driver so if we were to pull this out case in point and we would need this which I'm guessing is it five sixteenths nope so I think the way this works is the quarter nest or any one of these bit holders essentially would nest within the 3 8 nut driver 
and you would have your quarter. So if you're spinning nuts, if that's your main objective, like maybe you're doing junction boxes or something, you throw it down, you strip, terminate, come back and you know tighten everything back up, that would actually be really handy. And then especially like if you just needed say a Phillips or something or slotted for a lug screw. But this one here, kind of the same thing. So let's see. Um, to save time and battery, let me shut this off and play off camera. But what I do want to do is come in and uh, let's pull the six and one here. So this kind of gives you an idea of the change in pace here between the six and one and eleven and one. That really probably would make a better standalone video. <laughs> and, uh, again, this I'm trying to keep this one short, but the eleven and one I'm gonna say is just. Now I tell you what, they may be the same same size. I believe they are. Uh, we're going to set the 11 and 1 down here. I kept it in my left hand. And I'm going to see if it will accept. No, it will not. So that, that eliminates that. Uh, where you're going to have the difference that is quite noticeable that I just flipped this. 11 and 1, 6 and 1, much larger diameter that we're working with on the 11 and 1. So. I'm going to drop that down, I'm going to shut the camera off, and just real quick, I want to grab my channel lock 6-in-1, and we're going to open this thing up, and we're going to grab some standard bits. It's weird not being a Casey tool haul, because I just have one handy, but luckily I've got tons of bits everywhere, so we're going to grab some stuff, see how these kind of made up and pair, and I'll quickly try to wrap this up. Take that back, I want you with me. All I did is open this up. I did try this, and I think you're going to be intrigued. So this is the 6-1-A from channel lock. Apparently last time I used it was slotted, go figure. But, uh, if I pull this out, this is what it looks like. Now it's eerily similar. If I were to dial it in, you're going to see, I always seem to have these upside down, but that is quarter and US PH2. I think you can kind of see that. I'm going to throw that aside and I'm just going to come in and I'm going to grab this from Viha. And we're going to take it over here and it's way too small, right? But this one, that's designed for the other side, our 5 16th, it actually plugs in beautifully. Uh, so what that means is that if we've got this here, we've got the channel lock now with the VHA bit, okay? I can yank that out, we can throw that down, we can grab the mating side of the VHA, and we can take the channel lock, which I'll prove to you, that's the VHA one, Got the big fit. It's actually got more visible font. Uh, right here. Mm, blackouts. You can't see it very well, but that's, trust me, it's USA. Quarter USA PH2. I'm going to take the same side of the VHA, and that plugs in. So, this is going to be a deal where I don't exactly know the specifics of everything, but uh, you can make some interesting combinations. So case in point, if we were to pull out the channel lock, right, we've got that in place. You can, you can get by if for some reason you get these and you hate this handle, but you love the old school acetate, do that. If you have stuff like this and you hate the acetate handle, or you're like, man, this is so much more comfortable. Good news, you can salvage and use some of your bits. So keep that in mind. Now, what's going to be critical is right here because if this ties in with the ultra driver lineup and you're heavily invested in the ultra driver lineup it's gonna be amazing this is our Torx example that came from the 11 and one you can see the ball detent there it's kinda like uh, two standard quarter drive bits back to back with the detent in the middle right so what I'll do I actually have a bit here again kinda racing the clock and uh, this sadly doesn't have a detent you can see with the ultra driver if you'd forgotten you don't have anything now chance this bites me because it uh yeah that's not gonna work sadly so that that ship has sadly sailed uh there is one one possible thing i don't know that this is gonna happen either let's see no, the the bit's going to bottom out. There might be a few freak ones that fit, but the extra length here is keeping them from tapping in with the older driver now. Just kind of coming in and trying to put anything negative I could about this quick video. 
if there was any way at all for these bits to overlap with the ultra driver that would have been just stupid amazing now that said the ultra driver is not to be forsaken because it's again kind of the ultimate in terms of bit capacity and minimal impact if you will uh, what does this offer that this one doesn't? Well, A, just crud tons more bits, right? But B, that's why it's 26 and 1. But the other thing that this doesn't offer is the built-in nut driving, right? You can convert this and try to make something happen, but it's just all in the handle here. So, uh, again, my apologies for kind of trying to rush through this, but it is what it is. And like I said, I still have to have to edit it and upload it for you, so... That would have been really, really cool if we had some sort of way to tie all of this from the Ultra Driver in with that. Now, keep in mind, they're standard bit holding screwdrivers. We also, do I have one sitting here? Yeah. So the 12 in one and the stuff like that, they utilize standard bits, which is great. That's the one advantage they have over the Ultra Driver. Right here, we're going back to the 3K. This is just a magnetic bit holder from Viha. It has a little more depth, but again, I mean, that's bottoming out, so it's just going to be a no-go, sadly. But uh, that would be something you might want to factor in here, is if you're thinking like, oh, you know, I'll just combine this with everything. No. Just like with this, you know, you're not going to be able to throw in standard bits on channel lock or Klein or whatever you're rolling with. It's not really necessarily like a proprietary thing, it's just a totally different design because you're incorporating the built-in nut driver. So, um, personally, my advice, given the form factor here, and there's negligible weight difference between these, at least in my opinion, for $3 more, I advise you go with the 11 in one. You know, if you just, if you know exactly what you're going to do and it doesn't involve torques and it doesn't involve square and it doesn't involve a 3 8 nut driver sure pick this one up but if you don't know it's one of those things you know if this was a double the price difference you know or five times or whatever you know multiplier it would be i'd say well you know think about what you're going to do and make the pick if you're on the fence and you don't know spend the three dollars and get this uh, again if this isn't high on your priority list but you want to try it eventually Wait till KC Tool has it, and it's tool of the day. Uh, something else that very well could happen, I haven't been on social media today, so I don't know if the big deal has happened. I'm thinking not, because VI would be closed. But come Monday of next week, what would it be, like the 4th or something? There's a chance these things could be the big deal. It may not be immediately, since it is brand new, but if this was on big deal pricing, we're talking like you could get it for 10 bucks, which is just insane to think about, given that this is an American-made product. So I'm not 100% sure where the bits are made. You know, like if it originates in Minnesota at their factory, their partner facility, if they're sourced from the same place Channel Lock, I don't know that. I couldn't find any information on that, but um, I'm inclined to say it would be U.S. based. Otherwise, I don't think they could really, you know, push that. You know, uh, that's one of the things that bothers me with German tools. A lot of times, you know, it'll say they're made in Germany, but there's total different countries of origins involved. When it says made in America, that typically means a little bit more because it's a more stringent. It's like a, a more stringent qualifier, if you will. But uh, that's just my personal opinion there. <laughs> it's, uh, once again, I would go 11 and 1. Uh, to kind of recap it, you're going to have quarter and 3 16 slotted, 1 and 2 Phillips, 1 and 2 square. Which again, I mean, that'll be handy for me for window screens, and that's like kind of all I can think of at this point in time. T20 and T25, and then the three sizes of the nut driver, which... In all honesty, this covers a crud ton of what I do. Uh, even here at the house, you know, where I'm not doing electrical stuff like at work, this covers my electrical stuff here for the most part. But also, when I'm underneath the cars, quarter, five sixteenths, and three eighths is going to account for virtually every hose clamp. It's going to account for fuel injection clamps. It's going to count for the old school rubber clamps, gear worm, anything. I don't care if we're talking radiator hose, um, transmission cooler lines, fuel lines, fuel, you know, whatever. I'm covered. 
Uh, so the 11 and one for me at the three, three extra dollars is a killer deal. But uh, again, chrome plated on the shafts here, both of them. Um, there's this one for a better visual. So that's a good selling point. Again, quarter and five sixteenths. The reason this one is bigger is because it is three eighths. And then you're actually going to get your quarter drive action uh, right here from this thing that sort of looks like a polished hex key, right? These bits are going to pop out. They are a much more simplistic bit uh, than what you see here. But that's how they're able to get the three of those in there. I wish I would have known I was going to have this coming. I would have brought some stuff, you know, some Klein stuff I have at work for a bigger comparison. But I think we could probably drag this out into a couple more videos. But uh, on that note, let's do a couple more things here. Let's grab this. And we're going to just shove it back into place. Again, zero effort was applied by me, the end user, <laughs> to figure this out. I'm just kind of jamming stuff in, seeing if it fits or not. Uh, I see what the deal is. I have that one there, so we're going to put that bit back in. So I've got this set up for T25, right? This would be its operating length. If I take the number two Phillips, 100 millimeter or 4 inches here in America, right? Look at that. So you can see, obviously, the ergonomics on the soft finish are almost perfect, in my opinion. This is going to be slightly shorter on the overall length. Obviously, a little bit bigger on the back end. Uh, this is not quite as big of a bulk as the uh, Ghidorah silent drive that I just did. That said, as an update for you, I assembled the NBA Jam arcade cabinet, which, by the way, is pretty cool. Turned out to be a good gift. And uh, I love that thing. Uh, in terms of a ratcheting driver, it is sweet. But uh, if you picked one up and you've gotten it, let me know what you think of that, by the way. But right here with this guy, 11 and 1. I'm liking it, especially sub 20 bucks and made in America. Again, German engineering that's made in America, that's kind of their oh, gotcha type of a deal with this. And I can't really say it's a gimmick because this is going to be functional. I've actually used a little old channel lock here quite a bit for exactly what I told you. When I'm underneath a car, I'm <laughs> doing fuel filters, replacing them. I do a lot of the you know interchangeable elements, kind of the fancier stuff. I've since sort of gravitated towards doing higher end fuel systems and that's less and less part of what I do. But <laughs> uh, that thing comes in pretty handy. And again, 11 and 1, that's the ticket for me. So uh, that said, it is cold. I don't want the battery to go. And uh, we'll, we'll probably call this good. So case in point, just to kind of put this all back together for you, we're not going to be as likely to use the number 1 Phillips as the number 2 Phillips. So on the quarter side of this shaft, that's where your Phillips plugs in. Right here, the 5 16th side of the shaft, we're actually going to have our slotted. We'll keep the bigger one in check right there. And again, am I more likely to be Phillips or slotted? Right now, Phillips. So we're going to take this, plug it in. Again, if you're curious, you'll kind of see that slight detent here and here. If you line that up with the shaft, sort of what I would call like the bat wings right here, it just plugs in, it clicks. It's honestly pretty effortless. So. Same thing here, let's reassemble this guy together. We're first gonna pull it apart. And right here, if you were to look at this guy, this would be your 3 8 nut driver. And again, your quarter nut driver is going to be found right here. Battery light is flashing, so we're in dire straits. This one, is it channel lock or a VHA? It's the VHA, I believe. Better be. <laughs> we're gonna throw that in place, and we want the number two Phillips. So we line up the bat wings, you can just simply rotate it, boom, you're done. That's channel lock, it goes over there. <laughs> and, uh, that's it. That's the 11 in 1 and the 6 in 1. Brand new from Viha, designed and engineered in Germany, manufactured in America, in the land of lakes, Minnesota. So these are available, I'll have them linked down below. I don't really know. Again, unless you know exactly what you're doing, the 11 and one just seems the way to go to me. Let me know if I'm wrong. If you bring these in, let me know what you think of them. Again, sorry kind of for the rushed video. I just wanted to get out here, highlight these, brand new tools, brand new year. More importantly, I hope that everybody had a great Christmas. I hope you've had a nice New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Uh, maybe get some time off from work, at least here over the weekend. Uh, hopefully it's warm and sunny unless you want it snowy <laughs> and uh, maybe you got some cool new tools or some parts or something you can play around with in your shop 
Uh, I plan to be out here all day tomorrow, so it's looking forward to that. But uh, I'll quit rambling. I do thank you for watching. Uh, again, if you've already used these, let me know what you think. If you're unaware of them, how excited are you when you plan to pick them up? And if there's anything else you want to see comparison-wise, let me know. Just real quick, dropping the Ultra Driver down in between them. If you've got the Ultra Driver, expect the profile to be eerily similar. And on that note, battery lights flashing, LoneStarMopars.com. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, all three at LoneStarMopars. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you back here for more action from the show.